Uh, the house was built in 1959 by Mary Joy and Vance Barnett, both of whom worked with Frank Lloyd Wright. After completing the house, they worked on the architectural team that supervised the building of the Marin Civic Center in the early 1960s. In the early to mid-1990s, the second owner worked with San Francisco architect Chad Overway and they did an extensive update of the house without losing any of the original character. So what originally attracted me to the property was I stumbled onto the Sotheby's website and saw an exterior picture of the house. And it was so remarkable with the multitude of curved surfaces, I immediately thought of the architect Carbusier. And when I finally came to the house, I saw the front door, and I knew I was going to buy the house before I even entered just seeing the amazing craftsmanship of the mahogany and metal accented door. So often people ask me, what do I like about living here? The design of the house is composed of many intersecting circles, so the walls of the house are almost entirely made up of curved surfaces that creates a nonlinear flow as you're moving around. This gives a very freeing feeling. If you come to visit the house, you'll immediately experience and understand what I'm saying. I work at home, so I spend lots of time in the house, and the experience is one of being inside of a piece of art in the midst of nature. It's a rather spiritual and peaceful experience. I've done lots of upgrades to many of the details, but the major contribution that I've made was the addition of solar panels to the new roof. And doing extensive landscape and hardscape, which includes an authentic oyster shell bocce ball court, stone walkways, stairways, retaining walls, and patios. Besides the landscape, we added many fruit trees and a new drip irrigation system, just to name a few things. The downstairs happens to be a legal apartment that was originally a woodworking shop where Mr. Barnett crafted all the original mahogany windows, doors, and rail caps. It was later changed into an apartment which is very versatile. It can be rented out, used as a guest room for friends, relatives, clients, or even children. It could also be used as a private office or a residence for a caretaker or groundskeeper. Another aspect that I love is what I'll call old world meets new world. I've had the privilege to pay bocce on some very old courts in northern Italy. The bocce court and all the handcrafted stonework to me is very old world, while the house is very new world, even could be considered space age or something out of the Jetsons. I just love the contrast, as does everyone who comes to visit. <laughs> 